Yo, we better be getting Gen 4 remakes on the Switch. I'll be so mad if we don't. I want Sinnoh remakes so much. Since Grovile left, it's been one straight shot without any branching paths. So Grovile should be ahead of us on this same path. Let's go, Solo. Let's catch up to Grovile. Let's do it. No, no, no. I want to save. Save up. This might be the last dungeon we go through today, but we'll see. Are you ready, Solo? I am. Let's go. Let's get it. If they make it, I hope they keep the underground. Absolutely, I agree. Dude, the underground was great in Gen 4. I had so much fun with it. Just imagine having it with, like, on the Switch in today's, like, if they could actually, for the first time, Nintendo could do, like, good online with it. That would be amazing. I would love it. I would love, like, a mass multiplayer online underground shenanigans that you could do. I would have so much fun with that. They better bring back the underground. I'll be mad if they don't. Get out of here, muck. Give me that EXP. What is this orb? Nah. I should have just used it, actually. If I was just going to leave it on the ground. Scanner orb is the one that shows you where enemies are, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, well. Too little, too late. Mine? Oh, Tangro. That's not fun. You come to me. Get ice fanged. Thank you, coverage. We out. This goes for three hours? Yes, I stream for three hours a day. Not a day. I didn't mean to say that. On the days that I do stream, I go for three hours is what I meant to say. I don't stream every day. I stream, uh, I always stream unless something important comes up and I have to do a makeup day. I stream on, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. Saturday is Pokemon, Sunday and Wednesday is Persona 5, Friday is a random game of my choice. And then sometimes, usually most of the time, like almost every time, I stream Monday and Tuesday as well. And those days will be random game days just like Friday are. That's how my stream schedule works. You can see that stream schedule in the, uh, the Twitch stuff, the Twitch buttons down beneath. If you scroll down a little bit. Watch the latest Smash episode. You got good taste. I do have good taste. Thank you. I don't know what you're referring to, but uh, I agree. I do want this. I hate that my storage is full at like the worst part. Of this is the worst part of the game for the storage to be full. I don't really need blast seeds anymore. I'm doing more damage than they can do for me. I'm not going to use that. Hello there, fortress. I need you to die. Oh, using Shantae over Camilla? Fair. I haven't played either of their games, so, you know. I didn't have a leaning towards one or the other, really. I have four amiibos thanks to my roommates, and I'm using them to train. Sick. There isn't a King K. Rule amiibo yet, is there? I want a King K. Rule amiibo as soon as it comes out, and I want to get the Shulk amiibo, too. Just want to get the amiibos of, like, all the characters I like. Buying that Ridley amiibo. That, like, Nintendo got me. They got me good. Like, I was out of the amiibo game. It never appealed to me. I was like, ah, oh, you know, they're, like, cool little action figure things. Not really my style. But that's cool that they exist. Then the Ridley amiibo existed, and, like, the GameStop guy offered it to me. Like, hey, you know, we just got this new today. You want to, you know, might want to buy it? And I was like, you know what? You got me. I'm going to buy it. And now I'm just like, I can't only have the Ridley amiibo. I can't just have that. I gotta have more than just that one. So now I gotta get myself some others. Nintendo, like, they've they've got their claws in me, and I don't think they're gonna let go. I wish I had already given myself Brick Break for this, but uh, Water Gun works just as well. Goodbye. Hey, level up. Nice and 28. HP plus 3. Love it. Alright, get Turtwig some HP back. Turtwig, how do I have so much more HP than you, man? It's wild. I want a Zelda amiibo. Just have that cute Zelda next to me. Fair. Fair. Honestly, I would like the Ganondorf amiibo, and to be real with you, because I'm one of those people, I would be like, I have the Ganondorf amiibo. I gotta get the Zelda and the Link amiibo. I can't just have Ganondorf. Gotta have the whole Triforce, man. 
Amiibo is Nintendo Skylanders, except it's good. Must be getting close to the bottom now, Solo. We have to catch up to Grovile soon. Let's keep it up. We end this. I've gone quite deep. There's not much farther now. Oh, no. If I get through here, I should be at the fur. At fur <laughs> I should be at the forest. The Sableye are coming. There's no time to waste. That reminds me. I wonder how those two are doing. Have they eluded the Sableye? Ah, oh, forget it. This isn't the time. I have to give priority to my own mission no matter what. Sorry, I was looking at something. I vowed to complete it even if it meant making sacrifices. Time to go. Grobile does what he has to. So expensive, though. They're not crazy expensive. They're only expensive if you try and buy, like, a ton of them. But, like, $15 is what I paid for this Ridley one. Well, like, 16 to $17 with tax. But, like, you know, under $20 for a figure that, like, looks this good. Like, this Ridley one looks really good. I think that's worth around 20 bucks. They're only expensive if you, like, start trying to collect all of them. Which is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, I don't know, I'll probably end up with, like, by the time I finish buying them, probably around, like, ten Amiibos. And that's not, you know, terrible. For, like, collecting figures like this. But yeah, if you try and collect, like, every Amiibo there is, you're going to be sinking, like, a couple of grand by the time you get them all, probably. Because how many are there? Like, there's more than just the Smash ones. So assuming all, like, 74 characters in Smash get it, $20 a pop. What's 20 times 74? That's a lot, isn't it? I don't want to have to do the math. You there! Stop! Huh? Who's there? You invade this place with no warning? Then you disturb our slumber? Then, without apology, you try to leave? Who's there? Who are you? You dare to anger us? I love how they use Spiritomb in this game, because Spiritomb's whole deal is that he's like over a hundred spirits all meshed together or whatever in one Pokemon. So he actually talks about R and us and all that. I love it. You dare to anger us? We expect you to pay for these insults. Where are you? Quit hiding and reveal yourself. You accuse us of hiding? We do not hide. We are. We are here! We are Spiritum! There is no mercy for those who transgress against us. Gah! Roughly 1480? That sounds right. And, uh, 20 times 10 is what? 200? So 200 times 7 is 14. Yeah, it'd be about 1480 to 1500. And that's just for the amiibos for like every character in Smash Ultimate. There are, I'm pretty sure there are more Amiibos than just those. So, like, trying to get all of them or something like that, that's wild. That's going to cost you a ton. But if you're going out about it and you're just like, you know, I want, like, ten Amiibos. That's only going to be, like, 100, 200 bucks. That's not terrible. You know, especially if you don't buy them all at once. If you go and, like, I'm going to buy $400 worth of Amiibos right now, that's a little crazy. But if you're, like, you know, every month or every other month, you're like, I'm going to buy a new Amiibo. It's like... Over the course of two years, you've spent, like, 100 to 200 bucks on Amiibos. That's not a big deal. You know, if that's what you like, it's your money. Do what you want with it. Just a nice little collectible to have that you like. I think that's totally fun. Muck, I would really appreciate it if you, like, died whenever I water gunned you. Would mean a lot. I want to put a lot of focus on fighting a lot of the Pokemon in the future because they give so much EXP. I don't remember what level we should be by the time we get back to the present time. All I know is that when I normally beat the game, I'm somewhere from level 40 to 45. And we're not quite at end game yet, but we're not super far off. So, uh, I want to start kind of getting close to it. Girl, Wild's dead. I swear I thought Absol and Spiritomb were legendaries. That's an easy mistake to make. For, like, when they're first released and stuff like that. Or when you're, like, you just don't know any better. Because they're pretty, like, 
You know, they're like mysterious, kind of strange-ish Pokemon that can kind of be mistaken for something like that. Dun 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 dun! Water gun. Stop living my water gun. Nah, I've been disabled. Disable is so annoying in this game. I hate the layout of this floor. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. What on earth is this area? It's music, though. No, don't rapid spin me. I didn't set up Stealth Rock, you nerd. Goodbye. So much EXP, though. I love it. All right, just go this way. Yeah, I should have gone this way in the first place. What the heck does a transfer orb do? Transforms the target into a different Pokemon? Weird. Nah, I got enough of those. When we get back to the past, we gotta, like, sort out our storage problems. Because they are pretty bad. Goodbye, Matang. I wish you could join my team. Why isn't Arcanine a legendary? Arcanine was supposed to be a legendary originally. But then, uh, I don't remember the exact reason. I think they just didn't want it to be two birds and one dog, because that seemed weird, so they made Moltres instead. Plus, I'm glad Arcanine isn't a legendary, because that means Growlithe can exist, and Growlithe is adorable. I want these Pokemon to join my team. Just eat this. What is this? Brine? I'll take Brine. Too bad Scald doesn't exist in this gen. How do I always have a Blast Seed in my inventory to get rid of? What is a Slip Seed? This is like the Seed one mess or the Sleep one messed up. Oh, it makes it it makes it it turns you into Jesus. It's the Jesus Seed. Just lets you walk on water. That's wild. You know what? I will take this Violent Seed. We could use that against what's his face. Uh, I don't need this many apples. No, no, no. You know what, Muck? I don't want to deal with you. You're annoying. Deep sealed ruin. Muck, I just said I don't want to deal with you. You're annoying. There we go. What is this? Water pulse. I think I already have a water pulse TM, but if nothing else, I can sell this, so I'll take it. Deep sealed ruin doesn't have that many floors, does it? In fact, this might be the last one, maybe? Why did I use scratch out on my tag? That doesn't seem right. Oh, no! I thought you died of that. What is, uh, what is that? A confusion trap. I ain't falling for that. All right, well, you know what? You've already damaged it, so now I feel like I need to finish it off to get the experience. Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it was the last floor. Sick. Yeah, organized classification is like the legendary Pokemon or something. It's really weird. Hey, there's Grovile. Ugh. <sighs> You too. Grovile, are you alright? <laughs> no, he's lying on the ground, wincing in pain as, like, purple and yellow energy just goes all over his body. What do you mean, is he okay? Stay back. What? Why? Careful. An enemy lurks nearby. Just say it's the rock, my dude. What? Where? It's right beside you. Next to me? It can't be this. Ah! No, it is. Hehehe. <laughs> All those who trespass upon this land. None shall be forgiven. None. Not least of all, you. Spiritomb is such a good Pokemon to be a boss in this section of the game. I love it so much. How does this game do so well? How do they do, like, almost everything right? It's amazing. Who is that? Who are you? You ask that of us? Our name is Spiritomb. We are the manifestation of a fusion of spirits. <laughs> 108 of them! Be careful, you two. That Pokemon is strong. Ha ha ha, prepare to take your punishment. Quick, Turtwig, learn a Fairy-type move, ASAP. All right, well, I'm gonna take this opportunity to eat my Violent Seed. Eat it. We in this. Hello. Uh, well, you know, Water Gun. Oh my word, 200 damage. I forgot how broken violent seeds are. No, I missed. I needed to hit that. 
now. Stop missing! You'd be dead already if I wouldn't miss every other move. There we go. We've done it. That was easy. Ah! 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 Noises. Ah! What's happening? The rock will have its revenge. Spiritomb's worthless keystone rock was nothing before the might of the rock cult. The true rock. Ah! Ah! Eep. <laughs> I love this. Run away! Ah, oh, it's so good. What was that? What was all that about? They got spooked and ran. Grovile! Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up? Somehow? Ah! That Pokemon. It was cunning. It went up my nose and took control of my body. So that was a bad Pokemon. No, that's not true. That Spiritomb was probably upset over us trespassing in its space. It was frightening. Because it became so angry that it lost control of itself. But you saw what happened when the situation turned sour. It fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. They are Pokemon who should be good. But they become bitter and twisted because of this world's perpetual darkness. Violence is always the answer 100% of the time. I see. Good Pokemon going bad because of this world. That makes me sad. Hey, you too. Now will you finally trust me? Uh, somewhat? I'll admit it, I don't really trust you, but... Ha! Huh, I've told you before. There's no point in continuing together if there's no trust between us. I'm leaving. Yeah, I agree with Grovile on this. In a future like this, you've got to trust, otherwise there's nothing that can be happening. Oh, wait! Midnight Cloud XY. Thank you for following. I hope you enjoy this stream and any future ones you come to, dude. Grovile is so cool. I agree. He is amazing. He is one of the... Like, this Grovile is one of the greatest characters in Pokemon history. Like, he's right up there with N. Like, N and Grovile from Explorers of Sky, top two characters in Pokemon history. Easily. I didn't say I don't believe you. To be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what anymore. I do. You don't, but I do. That's why we want to know as much as we can learn. And it's true I still don't completely trust you, Grovile, but... But what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So please, Grovile, please tell us what you know. Tell us about this future. And why you came to our world, Grovile. Wait, Grovile has no a nose? Yeah, look at the end of his nose right there. You can see the two little uh, slits that are his nostrils. If anything, Grovile doesn't have ears. That's probably why Spiritomb had to go up his nose, is because there are no ears for him to go into. Yeah, he's totally got... He's got nostrils right there. You can see it. So, what if everything I say is a pack of lies? It's all right. I won't accept everything you say at face value right away. I will. I'll believe anything you say. I'll listen, then decide. Well, fine. Follow me. All right, let's go. I would like to save my adventure. Thank you for asking. Chapter 15, The Secret of the Planet's Paralysis. Good. This will do. Those Sableye won't be able to spot us easily here. Tell us, Grovile. In the future, why did the planet's paralysis take place? Past getting into the future, I have no idea what happens next. I never got this far. Dude, it only gets better. It's so good. Six years of Pokemon, never realized he had a nose. That's wild. The cause of the planet's paralysis? That dates back to your time in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was governed by Dialga. Dialga? Who is that? He's the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower. But when Temporal Tower collapsed, 
time gradually got out of control. And eventually, the planet fell into paralysis. What? What happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now, here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed. And thus Dialga has lost almost all his reason, and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He's become an entirely different entity. Yes, he has been transformed into Primal Dialga, a primordial presence. Boom! Explorers of Sky did it first. Primal Pokemon. Okay. Ugh. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone. Because I tried to change history. Because I tried to stop the planet's paralysis. Why'd I say paralysis? I can't- Paralysis. Why am I saying paralysis? That's not how that's pronounced, Chaos. It's paralysis. Because I traveled back in time to your world from this place. Your future. What? Grovile, you're saying that you came back to our world. So you could prevent the planet's paralysis? Where's Palkia and all this? That's in the post game. You'll see later. They do so well with the Pokemon in this game, like the plot and the setup and what all the legendaries do and stuff like that. Man, I love it. But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovile, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? Is it worth it to use Brick Break on Pikachu? I do not know the answer to this question. Uh, I would say Brick Break is such a good TM, it's not worth using until you have Recycle, so you can recycle the TM. And that way it doesn't matter if you use it on Pikachu, because you'll just have the TM to use it on any other Pokemon anyway. And Grovile, weren't you up the what words? Weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You've gotta be joking! I was collecting time gears, because they're needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. Uh, why can't I say paralysis all of a sudden? What is wrong with me? Thank goodness stream is ending soon. I'm losing my mind. I needed to take them to Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would have reversed the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was fully underway in your time. While it is true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area, that's only temporary. After the time gears are put into Temporal Tower, Time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. Where's Giratina? Uh, the Pokemon that they don't use in the main story are in the post-post game. Or actually, you might be able to get to Giratina in just the normal post game. And not have to wait until the post-post game. But, uh, they are in dungeons that were made specifically to, like, be modeled after them. So, Giratina is one of the ones that you find in those locations. That's the same for, like, Mew and Celebi and Mewtwo and Groudon and Kyogre, etc., etc. Ugh. But then, what about all the things Dustnor said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future. And how you escaped from the future, then fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all that was just a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dustnor really is. An agent sent from this future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dusnor was. An agent sent to get rid of you? Yeah, it's almost like he tried to murder us. That's right. I have said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why, when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dusnor after me. The great Dusnor? It can't be. It's hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it at all. Stop being such a stupid idiot. You're saying all this about the great Dusnor? I don't understand why Dusnor is acting this way here, but... But I respected Dusnor. I can't. I can't believe you. It is hard to accept, but... Looking back over what we've been through in this future world, what Grovile said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense. And Turtwig knows it. Turtwig knows deep down that what Grovile says is true, but knowing that makes it that much harder to accept. But... Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna see Dusnor. Can you be any more of a digital dummy? You're just saying like, yeah, I'm gonna go get executed. What? I wanna see Dusnor. I'm gonna find out if what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? You'll only be making it easier for them to get rid of you. You don't stand a chance against them. Then, what am I supposed to do? 
What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? And you decided that you would decide for yourself. You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't accept words for their face value. And you'd think for yourself. Ah. It's times like this, when things are tough, that you have to be strong. This music gets me every time, man. It's so good. Think for yourself. Then act as you deem right. Grovile. What are you going to do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. Ce Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Oh my goodness, this game is so good, man! Every time I play this game, I just lose it. It's so amazing. Ah. I don't know what I should believe either. I know what I should believe. Whatever Grovile tells me to believe. But there is one thing I can say with certainty. In this future world of darkness, the planet is paralyzed. And the paralysis of the planet? It happened back in our world. That's why, to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back. Back to our world. Solo. Yes, I know. What Grovile said, Grovile is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm all right now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Grovile. Solo? We have to. We have to get back. Back to our own world. We in this, boys. Ah, oh, it's so good. Dude, and Primal Dialga is so cool in this game. I love it. Master Dialga. The stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg your help, Master Dialga. As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. What? What was that? Strange sensation. I've had that strange sensation before. Where... where are we? This is Dusk Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually shrouds it. Deep in this forest, we should find Celebi. Hey, Grovile. You mentioned that name before, but... who is Celebi? Celebi is the legendary time travel Pokémon. She has the ability to cross time, but, well, she's a little odd. Anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past. So if we find Celebi, can we return to our world? Yes, you can go back, but Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Celebi has lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying that Celebi's in trouble too? That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi, so there's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. If we don't hurry, the Sableye will catch up to us. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. You got it. I think that is a good spot as any to wrap up for today. Dust Forest is my favorite area. It's a really cool area. Dude, I just love the future music so much. The setting of the future is so good. I, I can't fathom how good this game is. Every time I play it, I'm reminded of just how amazing of a game this is. I'm so glad to finally be recording it and streaming it nonetheless. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, we're a good bit over three and a half. Or not three and a half. Not three, oh, my goodness, no. Three hours. I can't think straight. I've been recording too much. Or not recording, streaming too much. I am really losing my mind. Anyways... Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, if you'd like to try and catch these live, I stream Pokemon every Saturday at 2 CST, which right now, of course, is Explorers of Sky and will be other Pokemon games in the future. And yeah, when we come back next time, we're going to escape the future and get back to the past and try and fix all this garbage. But yeah, so uh, it's so good it started a cult, exactly. But anyways, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you. I will see you next time. And until then, farewell.
Alright, and for everyone still in stream, thanks for coming out and making the stream great, as always. It's been great fun chatting with you guys while playing this amazing game. Uh, Pokemon again next week, Saturday, as always. Uh, let me think here. Tomorrow is Sunday, so Persona 5 tomorrow. We're going to be making more progress in the, uh, in the nice stream. Be looking forward to the next Mystery Dungeon stream. Thanks, man. I look forward to seeing you when it comes. But uh, for any of you who want to see anything that's not Pokemon, I'm streaming Persona 5 tomorrow, as usual, at 2CST. Going to be working on the Third Palace and whatnot. Monday? I think I'm going to stream Hyrule Warriors Monday, because it's been too long since I last played it. I want to play some more. So, probably do Hyrule Warriors on Monday. I think I'm going to be taking Tuesday off. I won't be streaming on Tuesday, and then Wednesday is Persona again. So, that's the schedule right now. I might end up streaming on Tuesday. I might not. I'm not sure. We'll see. But right now, I'm leaning towards taking that day off. But we'll see what happens. Either way, thank you all for coming to the stream. I'll see you at the next one you show up for or on YouTube if you watch my YouTube stuff. And until then, farewell. <laughs>